TPN is a credit bureau that collects rental information and data of the South African property market and then shares these kind of details and statistics with us in visually pleasing graphs. So today I'm going to be looking at one of the TPN reports that um, comes out on an annual basis. It's the rental monitor report and, and essentially what we're going to be looking at is how the rental market is doing post the pandemic, post the war in Ukraine, which is still ongoing and all of these different uh, external macro environments. And, and how that's impacted uh, what we call home and what we call our investment market. My name is Lawrence. Thank you for joining me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, if you're a returning visitor, thanks for the support. Um, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, click the notification button. I talk all things property in South Africa and I have hundreds of hours of content freely available on my YouTube channels. So here we're looking at the rental monitor report uh, and sort of the, the highlight of this report for um, for me, and this just note bearing in mind, it is from 2021 Q4. So that's where this data is, is basically been pulled from. Uh, the rental property indicators appear stable and seem likely to improve. That's the overarching message of this report, uh, which is good news. The first graph that I have to show you is the total number of residential property transfers in South Africa over the last, give or take, 20 years, 30 years. So you can see uh, leading up between 1993, where this graph starts, all the way through, you can see in the middle it's 2008, that's when we had the global financial crisis um, because of, of the, the, the property um, uh, economy in uh, the US. Um, and since 2008 up until, you know, last year, 2021, it's been pretty stable. Um, there has been a little bit of decline, but that's expected with COVID and with um, the war in Ukraine. So all of the numbers that we're going to see and all the data we're going to see is post, you know, these very big macro events um, and how our economy has uh, fought back. This graph is showing you the rate of bonded versus cash property purchases again over the last 30 years. Um, so, you know, you're looking at sort of a 70, 75% of properties are purchased with bond, the remaining 30, 35% are purchased with cash. Uh, that's what the stats are saying for the end of 2021. This for me is a very interesting graph and shows the devastating impact that COVID had on our economy. So yeah, you can see stats from 2014 through to 2021. And you can see that we had some steady growth in the Q3 of 2017. We were sitting at 1.127 billion. Um, there was some steady growth up until you know Q1 2020, um, and there was a huge, huge dip in growth. Um, and that is the impact that COVID's had. Uh, what I'm liking here is that there has been some some stable recovery. We're still less than where we were in Q3 of 2017. So technically the the, the, the economy, the e economic engine, which is South Africa has not grown in value over the last four years. In fact, it's it's it shrank, which is not great because that means less jobs, less employment, less uh, affordability, less properties, less everything. Here we're looking at probably the, the most important um, graph for me is the rental value band distribution. Uh, so what you see on the left hand side are all the, the, the monthly rentals and then on the right hand side you're seeing the percentage of properties and tenants that are currently paying that. So within the 25,000 or more category, so people paying 25,000 Rand or more per month for rent is only 1.1% of the South African rental market. So it's a very small portion of the actual tenants. Then you've got the band between 12,000 and 25,000 and just under 7% of people are there. Uh, and then the seven to 12,000 Rand band, 22% of the rental market sits in that um, that that band. So between seven thousand and twenty-five thousand, you've got thirty percent of your of your tenant market, right? That's that's what I like to call your suburban um, higher income areas. The two uh, below four thousand five hundred to seven thousand rand category, and the three thousand to four thousand five hundred rand category. That's the area that I like to play personally. This is what I would deem your your low income market, um, and this is where areas like your Joburg CBD, your um, you know your your uh, Bereas, your heel brows, where these areas that um, are really attractive, where you can get good uh, good yields, you can get good um, cash flow. 
Um, and yeah, the risk is there, but the return is also. So about 70% 70, 70 of the South African uh, rental market is sitting at under 7,000 Rand per month, which is another reason why I've chosen this as my market of interest is because there's just so much demand. You know, uh, there's so many people that are within that price band. That's where that's where that's where the demand within the property market is. Um, on this graph, you can see the rental good standing by the different price brands. Uh, bands, sorry, not brands. Um, so let's start with the less than three thousand band, uh, which is here in orange pink. And you can see that, you know, the most recent data suggests that it's only sitting at 70% good standing, um, which is not surprising. You know, that's that's probably the, the demographic that was hardest hit by COVID and, and therefore had the most volatility. What's interesting is the light green, the lime green, uh, which is associated to the 25,000 and plus bands, was sitting at only 80% good standing. So um, other than the 3,000, the uh, 25 and plus was the worst performing market, which is quite interesting. Then we've got the national average sitting at 81, 81.4, which is not bad. The 3,000 to 7,000, which is the light blue or the, I guess the aqua is sitting at 82%. And then your other two regions, your 7,000 to 25,000 is sitting at a very good 86, 87%. So it depends on your risk appetite. You know, I know a lot of people who would prefer to buy in your suburbs at the seven to 25,000 Rand rent mark. Um, very happy to buy there and rent it to a professional. They get paid every month. There's no risk. There's no hassle. The return isn't good because the cash flow is negative most of the time. So you've got the shortfall where you have to use your salary to pay it off. But then you've got other people on the, on the other side of the fence more like me who are fine with going into high risk high yielding areas um, where you're going to get maybe some volatility in terms of vacancies and, and delinquent behavior but the demand is so high that you can replace the tenant if need be and you know your your good standing ratio is still at 82 percent so your risk isn't actually that high here we're seeing the good standing ratio by province lowest performer Gauteng sitting at 80%, highest performer, Western Cape, sitting at 86%. Uh, Eastern Cape looks to be doing well. So Eastern Cape and Western Cape definitely uh, seem to be the strongest, followed then by KZN and Gauteng. And here we can actually see all the different provinces as they stack up together. So our three underperformers, Gauteng, Northwest, KZN, uh, our five or six top performers is Free State, Eastern Cape, Limpopo and Pumalanga, Western Cape and Northern Cape with 87.76%. Phenomenal. That's incredible. Uh, here we've got the rental escalation by province. And um, this is quite surprising for me. Uh, you can see this, uh, again, this, this aqua turquoise color, Western Cape. Western Cape was booming 2015, 2016, 2017, and then 2018, it starts to slowly come a bit down. And then we see the effect of COVID. It just goes, ramps down, Q1 2020, boom. And it actually goes into a negative for quite some time. Um, which is actually the reason why I live where I live in Cape Town, because I live in, in quite a quite a fancy um, area and um, normally I would never be able to afford the rent but because of COVID and because of this um, you know all these Airbnbs that used to be full all year round were now standing empty um, so next year I'll have to move out of my place because the landlord's going to want market related rent <laughs> but yeah we're seeing a recovery here our, our high performers is looking at KZN and Eastern Cape sitting at uh, three three and a half very nice. Um, so it will become increasingly difficult to rely solely on employment status to determine tenant risk. That's uh, you know one of the one of the things we do have to take into account when we're vetting tenants is that it will become more more important um, to really vet them, not just the employment status, but to do references, to do credit checks, um, because uh, the reality is that our economy has contracted substantially. Uh, Northern Cape is the star performer with the best good standing ratio at 87%. And in conclusion, 
The rental market may see an increase in risk as more consumers come to rely on part-time income streams to address the rising cost of living. I hope that you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, chat with me, give me some love. Uh, until next time, happy investing.